All right. Okay. Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining us today to let us know more about the Vitalia Scholars. And I'll probably just let you guys just jump right in because I don't want to misquote something. I'm really excited about it to be able to offer it um, for the Vitalia community. So I think it's a really good and really cool program to be able to incorporate intergenerational along with lifelong lifelong learning. Um, so I'll let you guys go ahead and just maybe introduce yourselves again, um, just because we did have one community um, join a little bit later. So I'll let you guys take it away. Go ahead. Okay, uh, my name is Mark Gregg. I work for Omni and I'm on the analyst and research team. And uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Larry Apple. I'm a consultant for Omni. I have 15 years experience developing and operating upscale senior living communities. And I've been working with Ami on some of our new ventures. One of them is related to Vitalia Scholars' university-based retirement housing communities. And we are seeking some sites adjacent to colleges and universities to build senior communities and to tie the programs there to the colleges. This is an offshoot of that. And this is a way for us to start college-based classes in our existing communities without necessarily being located next to a college. So yes. that's kind of the whole concept. So what, we, what we've got, I mean, we work, we've been working on this for about two months now, and uh, we've discovered that around Cleveland, there are a lot of really great programs that they, that uh, just off the top of my head, Baldwin Wallace, Case Western, Tri-C, uh, Stark College, they all have, well, some of them have lifelong learning programs, which are not your stressful college programs. They're college, they're, like they're, they had one, I live in Shaker Heights, uh, they had one program about Paul Newman. Paul Newman's from Shaker Heights. That would be really interesting class to take. Uh, so like we, uh, we've got two different types of programs. You've got the lifelong learning programs and you have the audit programs that you can take from the state colleges, which is like a dream if you've ever went to college. All you have to do is be there. You're not getting graded. You don't have to write the papers. You, I mean, like, I, it kind of re relives my old college experience. You know, <laughs> so uh, I had a great time in college, but, uh, you know, I probably could have learned more. So now as I get into my 60s, I want to learn this stuff. So Larry and I, we are actually going to, we, we're going to take the classes. We're going we're gonna to enjoy the classes. But what we want uh, to, sh to tell you about this is, uh, like, so Larry's going to tell you about some of the types of programs and then we'll talk about the register, but you're gonna get a survey of, that we put together, it's a pretty simple survey. Uh, we wanna know what you're interested in, because we might think that, like, you know, you, you might not like Paul Newman. You know, I, I, think, I think he's awesome, he's a cool hand Luke. But, uh, you know, we wanna know what you're interested in. So like, after we're done here, we're, go uh, we're gonna get surveys and then we'll get the surveys back and then we'll figure out what you're interested in, what uh, communities, and good and bad, the pandemic is going to help us with this because we can do all these programs virtually. So we can do, like get them started, and then as we come out of the pandemic, we can go to the communities, we can go to the colleges and do classes on the campus where you get a more intergenerational product. But Larry's going to tell you a little bit about some of the some of the projects that are or programs that are out there. So one type of program that is offered this fall in the Cleveland area is through Cuyahoga Community College. It's called their Encore 55 program, and these are classes that meet twice a week on either Tuesdays or Fridays, from 9 to 10, 11 to 12, or 1 to 2, and there's a series of classes. And examples of the classes are uh, Introduction to Philosophy, uh, History of Presidential Elections, The King of Broadway, Songwriters of the 60s and 70s, The Early Days of TV, 
So these classes would meet, say, from 9 to 9.50 a.m. on fr Fridays during the month of September or October. So uh, we will have information on these classes, and we will handle the paperwork. So any resident who wants to attend a class, all they need to do is give their, their name and, and date of birth to the resident services coordinator. We will handle all the, all the registration. There's no cost to this. Omni is paying for whatever cost there is, and uh, we're gonna try it as an experiment. There's one other types of classes, and this is to audit a college class. These courses are just being available now. One example through a community college in the Cleveland area would be a course on politics of protest, art appreciation, or popular music. Now these courses would meet two or three times a week for a semester for two or three months. Again, there is no cost. The time commitment is greater, but we are only auditing the class. So there's no tests, there's no homeworks. And uh, I think as we get into these programs, we'll find out which courses are more suitable and more appeal to the residents of our communities. Yeah, and as we get into the program and, and as, as we get established, we hope to have professors come to the communities to give lectures and to, to do programs at the communities. And like the Vitalia Scholars is gonna be, we've got our own logo. It's the tree with a graduation cap on it. So we're gonna, you, know, if you take classes, we'll be, you know, you will have some swag for you, uh, t-shirts or hats. And uh, then, then another idea I thought about, we could host the Vitalia Scholars at communities. So like Westlake and Strongsville could get together and they could talk about the classes. So like, we think we've got a, like an endless possibility of things to do here but we really need your input on the uh, on the survey and that, and we appreciate Kayla getting this together so that we could actually present it to you and the survey is very simple it's uh, we ask your name where you're living right now and it says I'm a interest I'm interested in casual learning programs that would be the lifelong learning I'm interested in auditing non-credit college courses <coughs> So you could be yes or no on both of those. I mean, you could, you could be yes on everything. Uh, then we asked, like, you know, what what did you do in the past? If, you know, past career, if you went to college, or you know, what what expertise you might have. And then you, we could ask you to teach a class. I mean, it's uh, you know, uh, I don't want to you know scare you. So <laughs> we're not going to ask you to teach a class. And then uh, like we've got uh, so 15 different topics that you can circle and, and then additional comments. So uh, that's, I mean, kind of open it up for some questions right now, if you want to, I don't know how, I don't know how to do that, Kayla. That's okay, um, I can help. And then the resident services directors that are in the room, they can kind of help. It might be kind of hard to hear the resident. So if you guys, the resident services directors, if you guys can kind of MC. Kayla, I do have a question for the residents. Did they mention transportation to go there? Did I miss that? Well, all these classes are virtual. So they will be done uh, over the TV or maybe in the movie theater in the building. So as of now, because of COVID, in a way it makes our job easier. So they will, can all be held in, in our buildings. And if, if they open up and if they open up in the spring for classes on on campus, then we would coordinate that to make sure that it, it's it, you know you have a certain amount of people that go together, and so that's not a constant back and forth to the college. And then we want we want the colleges to be we have enough colleges that they they could be very close to to the uh, communities. You watch it on. Own TV. Yeah, I, one of my residents just asked. They can they can have it on their own TV, their own computer, right in their room. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yep. You know, we, we you could you could have it in the uh, library. You could have it on your own thing, and then we can 
you know, try to, so that, say you watch the class and then after the class, we could do a Zoom meeting to discuss it. I mean, there, there, there are so many uh, options here that we could go with that we'll, get, we'll be really good at because of COVID. I mean, we're kind of, we have to adjust yeah. and the colleges are adjusting. And we, we just think that it, and like, you know, it just stimulates the brain and get a lot of things going. So that's kind of how we look at it. So we're hoping that. That's a wonderful uh, idea. It really is. Our group loves history. So that I'm sure they're all going to put the history down. They love the history. So right. we yep. previous to COVID, we had a, a retired teacher coming in teaching history class twice a week and they loved it. We had a great turnout. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I, we, I love we, might, we might put a, uh, we might put a moratorium on political discussions until that, <laughs> until, until 2021. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to. <laughs> I think that's a great yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions out there? Any other thoughts that you guys want to throw out there too? I think we could go ahead and hand out the survey too. That way, if they, they can take a peek at that. And then um, if they have any questions over the survey, we could um, maybe answer that here as well. So, Mark, yeah, when uh, do we want these back in about uh, two weeks? A couple weeks. Uh, right. that, now, uh, are they going to be able to hand them out to all the residents, the, the people that didn't make it yeah, here? So, even the, mm -hmm, yep, even the people that didn't attend. And then that way, and if they have additional questions, um, we can probably clip this video that we're recording now and just give them kind of the meat and potatoes of this video and um, of really like what uh, what the Vitalia scholars are kind of your first okay. feel about what it was. Yeah. Yeah, we question. didn't. Uh, okay. Uh, one of our residents was wondering, especially like the classes, like the, um, the technical classes about computers and stuff, is it going to be geared towards senior citizens? Uh, she said she had taken one in the past and it was more like how to make data sheets and stuff like that and it was kind of way beyond her head. So um, is it going to be geared more towards senior citizens or is this something that's like for all students of all ages and they're just joining in? Well, that, that's the two different types of courses. So like on the lifelong learning programs, they are geared towards over 60 adults. And so if you're, if you're going to audit a class at the colleges, those are more intense. Those are, that's where, you know, it's a college class that, that you're participating in where you don't have to take the classes or take the uh, tests, you know, but they're, they're a little bit more intense. The lifelong learning programs are really interesting. I mean, I, I think, you know, and we could, once we get into this program and we get a relationship with Case Western and Balba Wallace, we could suggest programs that they, that, you know, we will be members of their community so that we can, and, and they have boards and as, as a member of the Baldwin Wallace lifelong learning, you, you can suggest and you can be part of the committee that, you know, does the classes. They, uh, they do a lot of trips off, like they, they, they do trips where they'll go to the, uh, uh, the orchestra, you know, they, they, so you're part of that lifelong learning community. And Larry knows more about the Siegel, uh, which is Case Western program. Some of the college classes are more general. I think the more general college classes will be more appropriate for our residents. For example, uh, introduction to psychology. You know, maybe someone is interested in a topic like that, or sociology of aging, or social movements and the, the politics of protest. Those are the kinds of classes that I think may have more interest than a spe spe specific detailed technical course. So we will take the interest as indicated from the surveys and then choose the college courses that seem to apply to that theme. I just know because a lot of our residents need help using their computers or using their iPhones or their iPads 
And sometimes we can't answer the questions because we're not right. that <laughs> either. <laughs> so if there was a class, we, need, we, we needed help to get on this call. <laughs> so, so we're all in the same boat on that. So, you know, you're preaching to the choir here. So <laughs> just grab a 14 year old. He'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, are we sending you the papers of the surveys or? Yeah, you can send them to me um, and just you can just scan them to me and then we can get them to, to Larry and Greg. So um, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah. 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 And also, I didn't put on the uh, on the survey, but maybe they could jot it down. If you have any questions, I'll give you my email address, and that way, you can you can just send it to me. It's uh, m greg g r e g g at omni property cos dot com. Or you can send them to Kayla, and Kayla can forward them to me. <laughs> That's, and then I'll, I'll, that way it, it, we keep it kind of streamlined. Larry and I sit next to each other, so. So we'll try to get the surveys in by the end of July, and then we can identify the courses and send the course choices out to the communities in August, say, and then the classes will start in the fall. That's a general. That's that's our uh, goal. Right. That's our goal to get right. something going in the fall. And this is kind of an experiment, I think. There will be more courses starting in January, and we'll be able to fine tune the program based on what works and what does not work. Also, I suspect in January there will be some classes actually at the colleges, and right. we can go there. Just in time for the snow. <laughs> <laughs> So we really appreciate you taking some time to uh, talk to us and Kayla putting us together. And uh, we hope to see you in, uh, in the fall because, you know, we'll come out to the uh, communities and get things. So, yeah, we are, we are dedicated to this program. We think it's, it's a really good opportunity to, you know, the other advantage to in, in the spring, if they open up, we can get out and talk to students and, you know, be around the young guys and see what they're thinking and that kind of stuff. So, you know, it'll be a, it'll be an interesting project here. So. Yeah, it will. So okay. I think you guys can fill out your surveys and then get those back to your resident services directors. And then if the resident services directors could also, anyone who didn't attend the meeting, um, if you guys could send those uh, surveys out and then I think we could probably have them back Possibly even by end of week. Do you guys think so? What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. mean, like, you know, we can. We're, we're in. A, we're, we're in Ohio. We can go pick them up. <laughs> I mean, and old fashioned. <laughs> Take our horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if if uh, you know if they gather them together, make some copies, or and then you know just uh, let us know they're ready. We'll, you know, we'll make a we'll make a run to the communities and pick them up. But okay. I'm out there all the time doing the drone videos anyway, so it's uh, a... <laughs> all right. Well, whatever's easiest for you guys. Um, Teresa, did you have another question? No, I'm just going to say thank you so okay. much for offering this. Well, we we, uh, we think it's a, we, we hope it all works out, you know, and I, I think the Vitalia Scholar is just, you know, just for it, it just seems like fun. I mean, it's like, you know, get, get everybody out and have a good time. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to happy hours talking about things. <laughs> That's the real goal, <laughs> happy hour. Yeah. The reason why he's doing this, huh? No, <laughs> join our happy hours. No. Um, yeah, that's my right. ulterior motive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think it's a great program. I'm, I'm excited to see the fun results that we're going to get out of it. So. I appreciate okay, you guys putting this all together for us. Okay, send, send me any questions you have. Okay, we'll do. And I did put um, Mark's email in the um, 
in the chat. So if you guys had questions, you can send them directly to me or to him, or you can send it directly to me as well, and I'll I'll forward it on to him. So, all right, thank you guys. I appreciate. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye guys. All right, everybody, stay safe out there. We'll see you.